Hello friends, on this episode we'll be walking around Irkutsk showing you the beautiful architecture and unfortunately uh, Senya runs into some problems as you can see here more about that later on in the video. But the purpose of this video is to show you the different types of churches that exist in Irkutsk and of course we're going to do a little bit of food review. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're with the world's best Burnett. And we're going to answer if Russia is a religiously accepting country. And so we're going to visit four different churches. Can you guess where they're from? What religions they are? Comment below before we get started. And let's go. And we're actually walking up to the first church. Now if you guessed that Orthodox Church was one of the different churches then you would be right for one of them and it's such a beautiful yeah it's so beautiful now because Irkutsk gets finally in beautiful spring you can see the park is all green with uh, random different flowers on the ground and uh, flowers are blooming on the trees it's absolutely beautiful and Ksenia enjoys taking these walks and I, I absolutely enjoy it too We've already shown this church in one of our videos, but we're just going to take a closer look at it. The idea for this video came because someone commented, hey, why do you only record Orthodox churches? So today's the day, whoever commented that, it's the day where you're going to see different churches. Now we're just pulling up to the first one. It, like I said, it is an Orthodox church. I've said it before in another Irkutsk video, if you follow this green line that's on the ground, it leads you to the marker and it tells you uh, what the building is about, it tells you the name and it has a QR code where you can scan it and it'll tell you a lot about the, the building and I think that's very very cool. This is number 18. Sabor Bagayevlinia. We won't be going inside, but we will be showing you in detail a little bit more about the building. This is probably the most famous church in all of Irkutsk. And I say that because if you look up church in Irkutsk, it'll show you this church. It is the front of every, almost every picture on Google. And for good reason, it's beautiful on the outside. And I wonder what it looks like in the inside. From now on, I think we're going to be showing you every number if we visit a church and it has a number we'll be showing you the number and the board so that way if you ever come visit Irkutsk you just remember the number because you won't need to remember the name and now we're going to go to the second church in the city and interestingly enough it's actually perhaps uh 300 or three 200 to 300 meters away it's going to be a very short walk again before we get there what religion do you think it is? Comment below and uh, let's see who's right. Before we get there, of course, I will say that this is Xenia's favorite architecture of all the churches. And Again, guys, we're following the green line because this church is also a um, historical landmark in the city of Irkutsk. And wow, look at this. Look at these fields. You see the, the, the fields out here, just wild flowers grow when spring comes. And you can already see that brick building is actually the church that we're going to go visit. Now, if you guessed that the church is a Catholic church, then you would be correct. And now we're just going to get a little bit closer and show you what it looks like. This is number 15. Here we are on the side of the church. We'll get a frontal view soon. But just know that I was told that there's not many Catholic churches in the city of Irkutsk. And this one is right in the center. Something that uh, is written on this is, is that the church originally was built by wood in 1825 but it burned in 1879 and it was built in this brick frame that you see now. 
just to give you uh, a view of how close we are to the other church. Right now we're standing in front of the Catholic Church and the Orthodox Church is right there. You can see the tips of the, of the building on the background. That's very, very cool. As we're walking to the next uh, church, uh, we're going to be giving you and showing you a little bit about what the, what the city looks like, the architecture. We've made a video already showing you what Irkutsk is like. And you already know, I believe that Irkutsk is the most beautiful Siberian city. So let's just continue to prove that fact. Uh, this is what the streets look like in early spring in Irkutsk. This is the architecture all around. You can see different buildings made of different materials. Absolutely beautiful. Something that's very common in the city of Irkutsk and all over Russia is these signs. These signs let you know exactly what is where and they point in the directions that you need to go. And if you get lost, the green arrows will always show you. I will say one thing, uh, when we visited Novosibirsk, when we visited Kirov, those cities didn't have as much of these things like uh, tourists or historical landmarks. So I believe this is why I, I think that when I talk about Irkutsk, I talk about it in such high regards because it has absolutely so much rich history. And I obviously perhaps am a little bit biased, but I don't know. If you don't think that Irkutsk is the most beautiful Siberian city, comment below what city you think is. Before we make it to the next church, actually, we're going to go eat at a restaurant. And just to give you a hint as to what the next church is, uh, we're going to an Uzbek restaurant. And that'll give you a big hint to as to what the next church is all about. Let's make it to the restaurant. We'll be showing you the dish and just adding to a little bit of fun for this video. Check out that. There was a lot of uh, graffiti in Novosibirsk. You don't really see too much in, in Irkutsk. Like that's basically the average. Um, for the most part, there's a lot of little scribbles in Irkutsk. I don't know. I guess it's just little kids growing up doing bad things. But you don't see too much here. And if we do, I'll be, sh I'll be showing you. What do you think about these houses, guys? For all those people that are not Russian, is this something that you think you would live in? The city of Irkutsk has so many of these style houses and I find them to be very, very beautiful. Look at this corner, guys. The color combinations, it's always nice with white. So there we had blue and white, here we have beige and brown with white and we have green with white, pink and white. It's a very, very famous color combo, anything with white. We're making our way to Ulitsa Karla Marza. The architecture in this street is absolutely fascinating. It is much different than other parts of the city. But we're also going to visit a small little museum that I think you're going to like. Here's something you won't find in any random city. It's just a, a random open air museum. I know it doesn't have a lot, but it's enough for the little kids to come and play. These are, of course, decommissioned vehicles and uh, tanks. And some of this equipment has probably never been used. It's probably just for this type of stuff. But there you go, some mortars, some artillery, and some armored vehicles, and a transport vehicle. All in the center of Irkutsk. A lot of the people in old videos talked about how dead the nature looked out here in uh, Irkutsk Oblast, but you can see everything is finally greening out, everything is blooming, everything just looks fantastic. I think that for the most part, the grass is being cut in almost every street that we've walked on. Uh, the grass is perfectly cut. Uh, Xenia, who does, who cuts it? Usually government, they people and they cut it. Ah, uh, interesting. So I guess here the government pays uh, workers to cut all the city grass. This is something that doesn't exist 
in America unless you live in like a gated community, which I basically think that Irkutsk and other Russian cities are like gated communities in America because the streets get cleaned and the grass gets cut. Beautiful. Some of my favorite buildings are ones that are not restored, like the ones we're passing by now. It is just, it's, can you imagine? You can, I always think, when were they built? How did they look when they were brand new? Because they must be at least 50 to 60 or 70 years old. And when you're walking in Irkutsk, it's everywhere. Every other building is just wood. The one behind us is brick. And there's this modern one over there in the back that you can't really uh you can't really focus on it. My camera's not that good. I'm using my phone of course. But I think we see the restaurant from here, right? Yep. Yep. So we see the restaurant from here. Again, we're going to a church that belongs and I'll give you the hint. This is an Uzbek Uzbek restaurant. So, take the time now to comment below what uh, church we're going to visit. And let's get into this meal. The restaurant that we came to eat at in Irkutsk is called OK Saroy. So let's go inside. Awesome menu. I'm going to order some beef shashlik. Senia is going to order that. I'm gonna get some rice and she's gonna get some salad. Let's see how it ends up looking. Well guys, it looks absolutely delicious. I've already started eating the bread. Now it's time to dig in. All right, we are stuffed. And the check was 920 rubles. I'll put the conversion rate to dollars on the screen for you, but it was actually very, very cheap. I want to give a shout out to one of my friends. He's from Spain. He's actually uh, the person who took me to this restaurant the first time. Muchas gracias, amigo. Anyways, we're going to continue walking to the to the next church, which is right ahead. You still have chance to guess what religion it's from. And we made it to the third church. But actually, uh, there's a lot of traffic here. Hopefully you can hear me. This one was a trick question because this is actually a mosque. Yes, we are in front of the mosque here in Irkutsk and we're going to show you what that looks like. Here it is in all its glory. The church number three, also known as a mosque. Beautiful in its own right. Again, we uh, won't be able to go in, but there it is. If you guessed uh, a mosque, that's very cool. That is number three. So far we've seen an Orthodox church, a Catholic church, and a Muslim mosque. Now we're on our way to the fourth building. Can you guess what it is? We're on our way now. Comment below what you think. We are now arriving at the fourth and final destination. If you guessed that the fourth location was going to be a synagogue, then you are correct. There is a Jewish synagogue. And again, interestingly enough, it sits on the same uh, street as the mosque that we saw. And so there she is, guys. The fourth and final building, the final church, the Jewish synagogue. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> wait, don't move. <laughs> oh. Look at this, guys. Uh, Ksenia got hit by the Russian Air Force while we we're walking on the streets 
of Irkutsk. That is disgusting. Jesus. Comment down below. Uh, rest in peace, Senya. Now that we've cleaned the, the shirt, we actually recorded. We were recording, but it got deleted. Senya got bombarded by a bird on the trees as we were walking. It was big shit. It was a big shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My friends, let me know which one was your favorite. We already know that the best brunette, uh, best brunette ever, her favorite church was the Catholic church, right? Yes. And mine is the Jewish synagogue. And I like it because of its color combination. Um, the architecture is all right on all buildings, but I really, really love the color scheme. And so, let me know what your favorite one is below. And can you imagine, Senya says that some people say that it's good luck when a bird takes a poop on you. Uh, we just think that's really funny what happened. We were filming and it got deleted. And now we're going back to exploring a little bit. Look at that building. What a beautiful, beautiful layout. This street in general has a lot of old wooden buildings. Here's some good example of progress. They're redoing the entire sidewalk here. Again, like I've said in many videos in Russia, they do a lot of cleaning and repairs after winter. This is spring cleaning. Thank you so much for joining us. We're back to where we started. We hope you enjoyed that tour. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.